before the preservation process can begin, the specimen must be purged of contaminants. Small insects have laid eggs inside. Once the cleansing has been completed, we must now build the sarcophagus. Remember, safety first. Tape will serve as the initial mortar. And as I will find out later, the bane of my existence. This will be your future home. must now seal the creases to prevent any leakage of fluids. To prepare the epoxy, we must pour a concoction of one part resin and one part hardener. Remember to stir thoroughly for four minutes until the liquids are emulsified. To begin, we will pour a three-quarter inch layer of epoxy. To remove bubbles, apply heat. Cover the mixture to prevent contamination. After letting the epoxy harden, we will continue the process with a smaller layer of epoxy. Just enough to prevent the specimen from shifting. Once solidified, more epoxy can be poured to further engulf the specimen.
some warpage may occur. Despite my efforts, bubbles have manifested. It should be stated that I have no idea what I'm doing. Things are beginning to get steamy. Now that the epoxy has rested and hardened, we can begin to remove the outer shell. become much more difficult than anticipated. I will have to devote more time to complete this task. That was not fun, but the plastic casing has been removed. Unfortunately, the epoxy has bled under the tape and hardened around it, solidifying it into the mold. Perhaps this can be solved at a future time. To soften the jagged edges, sandpaper can be applied. Keep 
epoxy dust and plastic shards must be removed from the operation table before the final cleaning process. Tape fragments and filth can now be washed from the mold. And now, for better or for worse, a final product has been procured. There are unsightly taped edges and various bubbles. I ran out of time and lacked the proper tools to square up the sides and cut it down to size. So perhaps I can do that in the future. Once I do, I'll post final images on my Instagram. I think I should have spent more time watching online tutorials before attempting this project. But overall, I'm pleased with the results. Speaking of online classes, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 22,000 classes covering all different types of creative and entrepreneurial skills. They have everything from classes on indie filmmaking, editing, Photoshop, or basically everything that you would need to know as an aspiring content creator. Go ahead. You can take as many classes as you want without having to pay for each one individually. And with an annual subscription of less than $10 a month, you can become a master of any skill. I'm currently watching a course on digital illustration and it's teaching me a lot about how to better utilize Procreate, which is the art program that I use to draw my comic book with. There were so many little tricks and shortcuts that I didn't know about before, which will definitely save me time. There are tons of classes that you can join with a free membership, but because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can click the specific link in the description down below and get a two month free trial premium membership, allowing you unlimited access to join whichever classes and communities that are right for you. I mean, why wouldn't you click the link? It's free. It helps out my constantly demonetized channel. And most importantly, it helps you become a more skilled member of society. And so thank you Skillshare and to all of my patrons for supporting this channel. And to you viewers, I wish you a happy Halloween. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.